Have you ever gotten into debt? Spent money you wished you hadn't of? Some of us, it's a daily decision we have to make. The Bible says a few things about debt. And if you don't take the Bible's word for it, just take a financial counselor's word for it. Getting out of debt is the best financial advice any financial counselor can give you. I speak from experience. I can remember as a pastor, one Sabbath morning I got up and I cut up three credit cards. I had four. I would pay, uh, make a payment on one and get in advance, make a payment on the second one, get in advance, make a payment on the third, get in advance, and finally make a payment on the fourth. I didn't have a stewardship sermon at the time. I just did that. But I got the scissors out and I cut three of those up and I've never looked back. So how can you stay out of debt? Let me give you some spiritual reasons for doing so. In Ellen White's writings, she talks about how debt is a net set for us by Satan that opens the door to other temptations. If you get involved in debt, it's going to tend to make you focus on this world rather than the next world. It's almost it's not exactly like a Ponzi scheme, but I just kind of call it a big Ponzi scheme. When you get involved in debt, it, it puts a burden on your soul. It makes life stressful. You've borrowed money from the future that you need today. And for some people, they get so involved in debt, they have nothing to give at church. Or they have nothing to give to support God's work. The Bible just simply says, don't do it. Romans 13, 8 to 10, it says, don't owe anybody anything. I was standing below the debt clock of the United States of America not too long ago, almost $20 trillion. And in New York City, two blocks away, Times Square was lit up. You can read something from a book at 12 midnight. The party was going on. That tells me that there is a philosophy in this world called borrow and spend. But if you look at the scripture, the philosophy there is save and invest. This world is built on debt. As a matter of fact, this money that I have right here, we call it money, but this is what is called fiat money. Fiat money, th this really is not money. This is a token of what money is. Money is a system. And we just generate it and print it and print it and print it, and nothing stands behind it except the faith I have in the government that prints this. And you're saying, I'm going to trust this stuff. I'm going to use it to whatever I can get. Well, just another reminder. God doesn't believe in debt. He doesn't borrow money. It's as if he lives on a cash basis. And he says, if you send it to me, I'll give you interest. Do you know what the interest rate of heaven is? It's found in the story of the rich young ruler. And instead of me telling you what it is, you're going to have to go find out.